As we're here in the Everglades agricultural area, standing on the ground where a reservoir is going to be built. This is a historic day for the Everglades. This reservoir connects Lake Okeechobee down to Florida Bay. It is the crown jewel of Everglades restoration. We finally did it. The day that so many of us have waited for is here. It's two decades of planning. Two decades of pushing and pulling and lifting and lobbying all to secure the funding needed to save and restore this amazing habitat. The Everglades Agricultural Area Reservoir and Stormwater Treatment Area once seemed to be an impossible dream for many. But because of the great efforts of our partner, South Florida Water Management District, the efforts of many of you here today and, and our team at the Jacksonville District, uh, we're gonna make that dream a reality. You know, we don't have many options in moving water out of the lake when it fills up. You can either go east on the St. Lucie or west on the Caloosahatchee. It's a challenge to move the water south in certain times of year. And this EAA reservoir is going to change the game. Once this project is built and fully operational, it will reduce those harmful discharges to the St. Lucie and the Caloosahatchee by 55%. This is a critical project to redirect the way water flows on the Florida Peninsula. It will store, clean, and send water south to the Everglades, ultimately under the bridges of Tamiami Trail and down to Everglades National Park and Florida Bay.